All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to another episode of Nova Atis. First of all, happy New Year's to you guys. It is uh, currently 12:37 for me. I uh, just watched the ball drop, and uh, yeah, I think you guys can probably guess by the fact that I'm recording. Didn't go out and party tonight, and uh, there's a very good reason for that, um, which would be I have to be at work in about six hours. So, um, I'm going to uh, quick try to record this for you guys because I've got it. You know, I've got some goals for 2018. Um, and I think I might actually end up making a video on them at some point. Um, like maybe, maybe coming out tomorrow or something like that. I might have a little bit of free time on my hands. I'm working every day this week, but, uh, hey, that's only eight hours of the day. That leaves me another, you know, three hours to sleep <laughs> and, uh, 13 hours to, uh, make a video. There we go. <laughs> that should be how I split up my time. Um, but I might make a video on that. Just kind of goals for 2018, you know, not only like, uh, channel goals but even just like personal goals and uh, kind of talk to you guys about that maybe do a little uh, motivating get you guys i kind of want i kind of want to hear from you guys like what are, what are your goals what I, I like hearing from you guys and seeing what all is going on in your lives um but today whew, today's a nice day we get to uh really experiment around with this new lovely murder machine that we bought last episode the flintlock pistol uh we've been going to work with it so far we know it can fuck up Kathers, and it can definitely handle these little looters. I can't imagine, like, if we can get our, our weapon master up a little bit, and get the weapon proficiency up to, like, you know, even if it's just get up, get up to, like, 300 or so, this thing is gonna be fucking deadly. Because it already, it doesn't take too long to reload it. I'd say close to, if not about the same as a uh, crossbow. And this thing does a lot more damage than a crossbow. Only problem is it only, you can only hold 15 bullets. I wish there was something we could do about that. I doubt that there is. We, need, we should be running from uh, this side. So that way we can actually aim at them like this. But we're just going to grind out a little more experience. I want to get a headshot here. We were dropping 80-some damage with just regular shots. No, well, there we go. Come on. Come on, baby. I know you're not accurate with this yet. Also, I don't know. Does a horse... Would horse archery make this more accurate? Hmm. I feel like it would make sense if it did. Oop, three of them left, three shots left. That's a coincidence. Or maybe I planned it out all along. <laughs> Who knows? I definitely did not. Alright. We're actually gonna... Oh, okay. We didn't kill him with that. I guess uh, it was meant to be dying by the hand of our uh, pistol. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't really make sense. That's okay. He's gonna die regardless. Boom. Piece of cake. Yeah, that thing's nice. <laughs> That's gonna do some serious damage. If it can fuck up the Kathers like it did in a single shot, just wait until we start going against, like, uh, knights? Hmm, <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. I can't wait to go against some knights and just fuck them up. Um, they're not gonna be ready. <laughs> just, just plain and simple, they're not gonna be ready. Alright, there we go. Give me some monies. Thank you very much. So, let's see. What are we, uh, what are we doing today? Well... First off, uh, we're trying to we're trying to prestige up. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I think that's a good goal for the episode. And then I forgot. So the blacksmith that we bought last episode, um, the forge, we can actually upgrade it. So the the reason we're only making I think it was like 70, 90 dinars a week off of it, basically jack shit, um, is because you can actually upgrade it. I've forgotten this mod. You can upgrade it, and it'll make us a lot more money. That so. No need to get all up in arms like I was. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Alright, let's upgrade. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll upgrade the healing skills. Um, I think we might have to wait for it to be finished. So we might have to wait for the next week. Never mind. Well, we can do it. Alright, here we go. Let's, let's check this thing out. Good day, my lord. Uh, we are honored that you have chosen to visit us. What do you require? Uh, let me give you the information on the weekly basis. Okay, so production. We're only producing two pieces every week. That's not enough, baby. Um, net profit is 0.4. What? We are only making 0.4 a week off of this. Yeah, that's a problem. Um... Hire more workers, invest in the enterprise. Okay. Um Did that help? Net profit 290. Okay, wow, just hiring more workers helps a ton. 
What the hell? Why did, <laughs> Why would we, we ever not hire more workers? Net profit, 862. Okay. So now we have to, we have up to five guys. So we're making 1200 a week off it. Okay. Now, <laughs> now this is actually getting close to worth it. So now I think we can invest in it. All right. Uh, a most attractive choice, sir. What do you wish? Uh, these improvements reduces bad events to happen and improve the chance to get lucrative events. Efficiency even efficiency even decreases the cost is what I think they're supposed to say. All right. These actually aren't too expensive. You know, a couple hundred a piece. Uh, we should be able to get all these. Yeah, this isn't too bad. All right. So increase overall efficiency. Um, do it again. Can we just keep on doing that? All right, purchase better machinery. Let's do that one. Better education for workers. We're sending these bitches to college. All right, 300. God damn, I wish college was still that cheap. Um, burglary protection. Uh, okay. Fire protection. Less failures. All right, don't know how you can buy less failures. Uh, less waste of material. 300. Daily program for time efficiency. 200. And we're still making 1248. Well, what the fuck was the point of all that then, huh? Alright, so hold up. 12.48. Let's see. So, efficiency level 2. We'll get it to level 5. Oh. I think that's it. 13.98. Wow. That was... Shit. I, I, liked, I liked it a lot better when we could just hire more workers. That was a lot easier. Can we... No. Okay. We still can't do that. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Are there more options? Because it's saying that we don't have enough money for anything, but I feel like they're just saying that because we don't have enough options. Because we still got... Yeah, we still got 25 Gs. Shit, son. We should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and sell all of this off? Or just some of this off? Let's, um... Tell you what. Let's check out our heroes first. Also, are we out of food? I think we're just out of food. Hello. Cheap bread. Ha-ha. Good. <laughs> We're back in the uh, back in the green, baby. Let's check this out. All right, Rolfin. Fuck Rolfin. We're, we're we're looking at Quinius first. Uh, what can I do for you? Hmm. All right. So this is better than this, even if just barely. It looks a whole lot better too. Um, I'll give you some of this. You are uh... oh stubborn. Hello, hello. I will take that. Um. I think we'll actually keep this down here just because it will make us faster. Although, you know what? This will still make us f just as fast. Uh, all right. So let's see here. 36. Is that the best? We're we giving him the mask. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Boom. Oh my God. He looks creepy as fuck. Uh, and then some boots. We need to give him some better boots. There we go. That's a little bit better. Those do not match at all, man. He's wearing Uggs with some badass looking black armor. But whatever, man. You do you. You do you, man. Alright, um, yeah, I think that's about it for him. I don't have a shield to give him currently. Should probably buy him one, but realistically, not <laughs> not going to. We'll loot it at some point. Rolfin! Rolfin, buddy. Should probably give you a horse. You're going to be a lot more effective on a horse. Um, you've actually got some pretty decent shit already. We're going to give you this, though, just so you look better. better. Give you some gloves. You got some good armor. Or some good uh, leg armor. Um... Yeah, that seems pretty good. I guess we can give him a lance, too. Sure, why not? Okay, and then we're going to put our crossbow down here, just because we might... There may be scenarios where we'd want to use it, is the only reason. He actually looks pretty fucking dope. Oh, my God. All right, Rolf. Rolfin. My bad. Going to keep pronouncing his name wrong. Just going to have to live with that. All right, so let's sell all this off now. And, oh, we're going to make some good money off this, too, man. We're going to make some good money off all that. Two grand. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, So now, manage property. We don't have anything here yet. Let's buy a patrician mansion. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Boom. 117 prestige points. Goddamn right. Rent it out for 936 a week. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. All righty. Looking good. Looking good. Let's go get into some battles. Why not? Um, also, actually, this one thing we might do. Let's go ahead and head down over to Zendar. So I didn't realize the prices for land can change. They just fluctuate randomly. And, well, I kind of knew that that happened. What I didn't realize, what that means is that 
So the amount that you rent out your land to peasants for, um, or well, shit, we're not, we're buying the big, the big homes. We're not renting them out to pe peasants. We're renting them out to some rich motherfuckers. Um, and that's why <laughs> James doesn't feel bad about, uh, sticking it to him. Um, so when the prices go up, you want to kick your current tenants out and then rent them back in at a higher price and they stay at that higher price even when prices fall back down. So that was really interesting. So thanks to whoever pointed that out. Oh my God. What the fuck is this? And the, you know what the crazy part about this is? I don't even think they have a mercenary campaign going on. No, this is just how many troops they have, how many lords they have in such a condensed area. That is fucking nuts. Um, how much are these guys... Um, I think the price is real low there. Uh, hold up. Okay, no, it's back to normal. But I swear last episode we saw one that was like 30 Gs, right? Maybe it wasn't Zendar that I was thinking about. Maybe I'm thinking about the wrong area. I don't know. Something like that. Um, regardless. Ooh, 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 hello, Zendar crossbowmen. I don't think we fought them yet. Let's do a little bit of ranged battle. Um, this might actually be a bad idea to try to take them out by, from, with range. We're not very good with this range stuff yet. <laughs> and, um, I mean, hey, I don't know how much damage those crossbows are really going to do to us. I feel like that's foreshadowing. <laughs> like, we're just about to get dicked on by them. Headshot, we go down in a single hit. That'd be a world of ice and fire. Ooh, okay, that was, uh, a swing and a miss. All right, another miss. Let's try that again, buddy. Oh, there you go. You finally got one. You finally got one. Coming in. We might as well just be hitting them with a sword with how close we need to get before we can actually hit these fuckers. All right, that's it. Let's do a little bit of this. We'll kill the last couple of them, but I'm just worried about the crossbows for right now. Although, they don't seem to be doing too much damage to us. Gotta remember, this is very early on in the game. The weapons technology is still very shitty. Um, the troops are not very trained. Altogether, these guys are trash, is, is what I'm trying to get at. All right, let's turn this around like this. Pink. Sit down, son. It's gonna be interesting when, when we start going against armies with a bunch of uh, actual gunpowder units. Oh, my bad, Rolf. Jesus, knocked him the fuck out. He's lucky he didn't die. Oh, hello, okay. Huh. As the slave driver dies right in front of us. Whoops. He was the last remaining one, I think, too. That's too bad. Well, he knew the risks. <laughs> they knew the risks. Honestly, we saved him from some slavers. He was gonna die anyways. Wow, he just... <laughs> he just sat the fuck down. I gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alright, good job, boys. Boom. Very nice. Uh, hey! Some replacement manhunters! Awesome. You guys can uh, die too, and maybe a couple of you m will make it a slave driver, or even slaver chief. Ho, ho. Nah, nah, none of them are lasting that long, let's be honest here. Okay, we got some Zendar pikemen, interesting. Zendar swordsmen with a manhunter. Why not both? Whoops, okay. <laughs> That's what I get for slamming the keys. Come on, why not both? Oh, only one attack me? Are you telling me multiple groups of... Of deserters can't join in together, but yet a giant army of Kathers will rush in to help some looters. That makes complete sense. That makes complete fucking sense. All right, go ahead and rush in here. Let's see what we're looking at. These are the pikemen, right? They don't look like they have pikes. Oh yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. I am just blind. That's cool. All right. Wow, we are inaccurate as fuck with this thing, man. Boom, one down. Oh, oh, do a do a barrel roll. Another one down. Two of my main hunters dead. A third one bleeding out on the ground currently. This battle is going just swell. Just swell. Yeah, we're getting kills with the dagger. Or with the dagger. With the gun. That's all I care about. Let's be honest here. Turn around. Boom. Boom. Ooh, these guys actually do some damage to us. Hello. God damn it. I'm so used to running trains in that, in counterclockwise direction. But with ranged weapons, you really need to do it clockwise. Which I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that different. I'm just, I don't know, just not used to it. Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of firearm proficiency for this. 
Shit the fuck. Oh, it's because we got a headshot. Nearly 200 damage. Hell yeah. These guys have never seen this thing before. This technology should not exist. We, like, found a black market arms dealer who was like, Hey, 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 you. <laughs> I hear you're pretty badass. I want you to test this out for me. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're fucking testing this out on a whole lot of skulls. Alright. Actually, this is one of the few scenarios where it might actually be better if we just stick with our gun because... God, those are... Oh, well, we're out of bullets, too. Didn't realize that. Um, I guess we will be, uh, using this after all. These guys are kind of, yeah, they're kind of fucking scary, man. It's a lot of range there. And if we're not careful, if we're running towards them and they hit us, oh, fuck. See, that one they didn't even hit us that hard. They're still doing a decent amount of damage. Sit the fuck down. So, anyways, I wanted to kind of ask you guys something. Um, Fantasy Cow Radio, I've, I've announced, we're starting it next Friday, um, I need to know what kind of character you guys want to see. Um, I've seen some people asking for a mage, but I've seen other people that are like, oh, we've seen a lot of mages, we want to see something else. Um, and there's a couple that I'll say right now that I'm not going to do, um, and it's because someone was specifically asking me to do an orc barbarian. One, pretty sure we've already done that in a, in a prior series. Two... I just saw that Reformist has his own series on it with an Orc Barbarian, so I will not be copying Reformist. Um, that just seems like a dick move. So, besides that, I'm pretty open to things. I don't know if we've ever done a Cleric. Would be pretty cool. It is Fantasy Cow Radius, so, like, I want to do a class with magic. Now, I, I, I think that the Clerics, the, um, their abilities have been expanded so that they actually have some pretty cool magic now. Um... Because I think maybe I tried to do a cleric before and it just didn't work out. Um, not 100% sure on that one. But, I mean, just just to be honest, I'd like to do a mage. I love doing mages. Um, because we do a warrior with almost every series that we do. Um, and it's because, you know, I'm relatively good at mountain blade combat. Um, and so hand-to-hand, -hand, I'd rather be a warrior than, say, like an intelligence-based... Uh, yeah, an intelligence-based character. Whereas Fantasy Cal Radio, that's the one time where you can make an intelligence character who's badass as fuck in combat as well, man. Seriously, more badass than the than the melee guys because they can they can single-handedly wipe out entire armies from afar. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna end up doing a mage. The real thing I'm asking is like, what kind of what kind of race do you guys want to see us play? Um, I'd be down to do a dwarven. Or no, 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 not a dwarven. I'd be down to do like a drow. I'd be down to just go with a basic... Oh, what about... Hey, split it in the middle. What if we did an orc mage? Hmm. Now, that ain't been done before. That ain't been done before. I kind of like that idea. Hmm. That could kind of... That might work out. <laughs> the more I'm thinking about it, I kind of like that. All right, well, I might have just uh, answered my own question for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like that uh, that idea. Hmm. All right, anyways, any damn way. Right, there's some manhunters. I think I might do a quick pause in the recording until we either find a cool battle or I make some more monies. I might go do uh, a tournament, tournament or two and uh, then... Then maybe we can prestige up. We'll see what happens. Oh shit, we've been waylaid by some assassins. Or just some bandits. Those two. Luckily, we got our side piece. So let's see what happens here. Oh baby. Oh, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. You're, just, you're like, what the fuck? Is this guy pointing a uh, little thing of wood at me? Nah, bitch. This is what we like to call a gun. Alright, well, we're gonna need to get a little bit closer than that if we want to hit him. <laughs> These things are only good for like super close quarters. That's fine. That's fine. It's my boomstick. That's what we should call it. Oh shit, hello. Boom! Knock the fuck out. Ooh, ouch, okay, that hurt. That hurt, that hurt. Alright. I admit you have range superiority, even though you're just using manpower and I'm actually using explosives. That's fine. That's fine. We'll still take your ass out. Boom! Alright, so let's see. We won one tournament. Um I was actually gonna check out the um <gasps> Oh my god, what is that? Holy shit. Hell yes. Hell yes. Plate armor, baby. 65 and 17? 
Damn. Oh, and we oh we can afford it too. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Fuck yes. That is awesome. Oh man. Oh man. Look at that. Look at that hourglass shape. Females would kill to have this kind of body. <laughs> Looks like he's got a corset on or something, man. Oh my god. Damn. That looks pretty fucking good. I didn't even know that was out yet. I, I figured we were going to have to wait till, uh... Oh, shit, that's pretty good, too. That's actually not as good as what we have, even though it's 58,000. Uh, I figured we'd have to wait until a couple of technology states or something. Um, but, uh, nope. Okay. Well, we are, uh, almost invulnerable now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess, once again, I'll be back in a sec. I guess I need to win another tournament now before we can, uh, buy any land. Maybe two tournaments. But uh, that's fine. I'll do that real quick. How late is it? All right, that's fine. I only need to be wor in, at work in uh, five and a half hours. That's cool. No, that's totally okay. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I think we're going to have a fun little battle here. I've won a few tournaments. I uh, headed on over to Aldurius here, and luckily they had a multi-day tournament, and I think I won it like three times in a row, something like that. We've got a lot of money right now is all I know. Uh, but I found these guys, and this should actually be a pretty good test of our skill here. Some Swadian Man-at-Arms. Twelve of them. I don't think all of them are actually Man-at-Arms, though. I think they might have a few other units. Um, but uh, regardless, this should be pretty good. I mean, these guys are, I believe, one away from Knights? Maybe these guys... Hmm. I'm not actually sure. Actually, they might be two away from Knights. Worth 192 experience, so that's not too shabby. Not too shabby. There we go. Another one down. All right, all right, all right. Keep it under control. We're good. We're good. Gotta be careful because these guys actually have lances. They're a little scary. These aren't no wimpy cathers. These are actually trained soldiers. Trained squires and knights. Okay, another good hit there. Yeah, okay, so they had a couple uh, of these guys on foot. Just some militia. No big deal. I think we need to pull out our uh, boomstick. <laughs> that didn't work too well. That's fine. There we go. Use the horse as a shield. Kill him. Oh, what? Come on. How did I not get him? Alright. So far, so good. Killing people I'm not even intending to hit right now. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, benefit of being completely surrounded by enemies. Anywhere you swing, you will hit an enemy. <laughs> good. Oop. Block that. Down you go. Last but not least. Oh, you know what? You're getting uh You're getting a special prize, baby. You don't take this money shot. What the fuck? How'd I headshot the he was completely covering the horse behind him? There we go. Sit down, sir. Sit down. Is that it? Oh fuck, there's one oh god, there's one guy actually pestering our troops. He hasn't been able to kill anybody though. He's pretty pretty shitty, I guess. I, I think you might be dueling with, uh... Oh, it's one of the militia. Yeah, what are you doing, sir? Go away. Go away. Leave my men alone. They, these guys actually look pretty fucking badass. Hold up, man. Yo. The Kather armor looks dope. Rolf... Both of them look really good. Rolf looks really dope with that helmet, too. And the lances go along well with it as, uh... As well. Holy shit. Damn. All right, all right, I see you, I see you. We'll take the Manhunters, thank you very much. Take some, ooh, baby. That's some good leg armor, too. That's some good leg armor. We'll go ahead and upgrade these guys. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna be on top of upgrading equipment this series. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. I'm gonna try my best. All right, it's good for you. Quinius, the nice thing is, like, all this, all these, uh, like high end armor, none of it none of it actually requires you to have like strength at all. So you can actually outfit your like healers with some dope shit. Um and we can finally give him a shield too. We'll actually give him two shields. Fuck it. I'm feeling generous. Yeah. Alrighty. They look pretty good. And we leveled up. Also the manhunter leveled up. There you go. Two whole slave drivers now. We leveled up twice during those tournaments. Boom. We're at fourteen intelligence. I think we're gonna go up to fifteen. Then we're going to finish out strength, get, to have, get that to 30, because some of the legendary weapons require you to have 30 strength. Um, and then we'll keep on going with intelligence for the rest of the series. One thing one of you guys pointed out to me in between uh, episodes was that um, craftsmanship is actually an agility skill. 
So, yeah, there's no way we're going to get craftsmanship up to 10. I'm not all that fussed about it. This this mod has a crafting system, but it's not it's not super great. Like, there's, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't save you that much money is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'm not trying to spend, you know, 20-some levels on agility just to be able to make a legendary weapon for a couple or even 10 grand cheaper. That's just not worth it. So forget craftsmanship, we're going to stick with these skills. Let's give ourselves some pathfinding and some spotting. We can get that up to four. Perfect. Everything's at four. Um, What are we looking at here? What do we want to upgrade? Anything? What's our webmaster? One? Ooh. Ooh. I guess kind of stuck with it for, for now. All right, so let's see. How much money do we got? 33 grand. That's not enough, I don't think, for... Hold on, let me check it out. What are we looking at here? We need 600 for the next class, and I'm pretty sure the last patrician house that we bought only gave us 125. So, I think that means we need to win another tournament, or make enough m money some other way to be able to afford the next thing. I think that's actually what I want to do. I want to build whatever's next. Is it like a mansion or something? Noble Great House. Yeah, that's what we want to buy. So that's 42,000. Uh, I mean, that's not too far off. I could, if I could just find another tournament real quick, I think we'd be able to do that. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty, one more tournament down, and we should have just enough money to buy one of the... Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that looks creepy as fuck. Okay, <laughs> not wearing that one. What's that called? Sturdy Castillo Helmet? Alright. Um, Alright, let's see here. So we already got a patrician mansion here. We should actually... I forgot. You can actually check these places out. Like, you can walk around in them. We should do that. Um, Noble Great House. Let's see it, baby. Boom. 208 prestige points. That'll do the trick. Uh, let's visit the residence first off. Ooh. Oh, baby. It's looking nice. Oh, we're going to steal the pottery. Sorry, furniture was is not included. Not even. Well, I guess we'll. You, you can keep the statue. We we don't have the manpower to move move that thing. Oh. Okay. Nope. Can't steal anything from here. Master bedroom. Or is that the master bedroom? Yeah. Well, is there only one ma one bedroom in this whole place? What the hell, man. If you're owning this house, you need a couple side bedrooms for your uh for your, your hose. Oh, you can sit down. Oh. Well, that uh, is interesting. Not what I thought you were going to do with that, but that's that's okay. How do I get out of here? Um, I'm pressing a whole bunch of different keys. I don't know how to get out of here. Space, no tab. All right, guess we just have to leave the residence. <laughs> All right, let's come back. Let's check out. I don't think there's too much more to it. What is this? It's just the kitchen over here. We're giving them a bunch of food. All right fine i guess i guess run it out for 1600 a week not too shabby baby not too shabby we're already making like three grand a week and it's just going up baby it's just going up all right so let's check it out well we got to run around a little bit at first boom <gasps> we made it middle class baby middle class citizen james harper oh it feels good it feels good we got our citizenship let's check it out so what do we got now you have finally earned your citizenship. You have more rights and some, some political power in the towns. Need 900 for the next one. That's only, I mean, if we just bought another another uh, mansion like that, we should be there. Should basically be there. That's not too bad. All right. Anyways, we're going to end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to make a, uh, you know, goals video for 2018. Maybe a little bit of looking back on 2017 as well. Just kind of an update to the channel, the general state of affairs and all that. Uh, I'm going to keep on popping these episodes for the rest of the week until Friday. That's when we're going to have um, Fantasy Cow Radio. Like I said, I'm liking the idea of an orc mage. Like it seems to go against all sense and reason and that's why I like it, I think. So anyways, as always, guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy.